Okay, so the first thing is to remove the printer from the plastic packaging. Now switch on the printer and switch on the rear tray as we have to load the pages here. Now once you adjust the size then you can insert the A4 size paper sheets. And now take the starter ink cartridges out of the packaging. Remove the red label which is without touching any circuit of the ink cartridge. And now we are ready to install the ink cartridges. Now we have to install the ink cartridges, open the front door as you can see and there is another door which is just for the ink cartridge chamber so you have to open that as well and now wait for the ink cartridge chamber to move and come in the middle. Once it is there now take the color ink cartridge and insert it in the color side so just push it inwards and it will lock itself and do it same for the black ink cartridge. Now print will print a ink cartridge alignment page so we have to take this page and place it on the scanner bed and place it facing downwards on the right hand side and then press the copy button so it will scan itself and wait for the printer to finish this setup process. Now I am going to show you how to do the Wi-Fi setup of this printer. We will connect this printer with the home or office Wi-Fi network. Now the first step is to go on the display screen we need to enter this printer into the setup mode for that we need to press and hold the cancel button and the wireless button for three seconds one two three and we release it we will see the power button starts to flash and it will stop flashing and then the wireless button will start to flash after that that means your printer has entered into the setup mode and it's ready for the wireless connection now go to your Android device or any other smartphone and then download the HP Smart App from the App Store. Now open the HP Smart App. Now we need to add the printer here. So we click on the plus button on the top screen. You will see it says searching for the printers. Now you will see the next screen it says no printer found and the same time you get an option set up a new printer. Now click on that, it will search for this printer now and you will see it says DEX Z2700 series. Click on this, connect printer to Wi-Fi. So check if there is a correct name of the Wi-Fi network. In case that is not the correct one, then you can click on the change button. Now we have to enter the password in this screen here. Continue once you enter the password. Now it says turn on the Bluetooth. Bluetooth is required to set up your printer. So we click on continue and we allow HP Smart to turn on the Bluetooth. So once your Bluetooth is on, you will see it is connecting. So that is starting printer setup. It says press the flashing information button on the printer. Here you see that is the flashing information button. So we need to click this information button once. It's now obtaining an IP address for the printer. Now we see it says printer connected to the Wi-Fi. So it is connected. Now we can click on the continue button. Now you will get, you will see a page. It says uh, you can print from other devices. You can send a link if you want or you can download the software for other devices from 123.hp.com and you can click it not right now now it says the setup is complete so your printer is connected to the wi-fi network and it's already added in your smartphone on the printer document click on this blue icon so you can hear the sound the printer has started to print a page also we can see the printer is available on the screen and it also shows the estimated level of ink left in the ink cartridges. So here we can see the welcome sheet and it gives some details regarding the printer and how to use it with the HP Smart App. The second method to use this printer without Wi-Fi network is using printer's inbuilt Wi-Fi Direct. Now go on the printer's display panel and we need to activate the Wi-Fi Direct. So that is a small icon which should be available here we cannot see it that means we need to switch on that press the wireless button once 
it will switch off the wireless and it will activate the Wi-Fi direct as you can see there is a small icon in the screen now just above the tricolor ink cartridge icon so that means our Wi-Fi direct is on now go to your Android device iPhone smartphone again download the HP smart app if you don't have downloaded open the mobile Wi-Fi setting look for the HP direct 2700 series so click on that now it's asking for the password of this printer now I'll show you how to print the password for that we need to press and hold the information button once and it will send a command for the printer to print a page so printer has printed the information page here that is the printer information page gives all the details of your printer now here we see the Wi-Fi direct icon and under that icon look for the Wi-Fi direct name and the password so password is written here now we need to enter this password here click on the connect button so you will see it is connected and it says there is no internet because uh, this is printers Wi-Fi now go and open the HP smart app here we have to add the printer so we click on the plus button on the top you will see HP DexJet series printer 2700 so once you click on that it will show up here now it is added now I'll show you how to do the wireless scanning and printing with this to do a wireless scanning click on the printer scan button now place a document facing downwards and close the lid click on the scan button now we can add more pages as a single document open the top scanner again place a page you want to scan facing downwards close the lid now click on the plus button click on the scan so here we can see there are two pages available now we can see the option available here we can save it or we can share so click on the save button we can do it as a PDF we can also change the name of the file select the JPEG or a PDF format and click on the save button and click save again so it is saved there now I will show you how to do the wireless printing for that we can go to the print document section in the app and you can select PDF or a photo or any other document from the Google Drive or Dropbox now select one document here so I have opened a document now you can click on the print button as you can see here now you have some options available here where you can increase the number of copies if you want you can do it color or black and white and then give the command for the print so that's the way we can do the wireless printing and scanning using two methods by connecting this printer with your device now I'll show you how to do the copy for example if we have to do two-sided copy open the top scanner lid place a page facing downwards as you can see here close the lid we can go on the display panel we can click on the black or color so for example color press it once to do a two side copy on a single page we can put another page which we want to copy and you can see that is to be facing downwards this printer doesn't have automatic two sided copy option so we have to do it manually so I'll show you how to do that so this is the page we have copied here now you have to put it like this so that it goes in the downward directions now I'm going to click on the black and white so here you can see so this is the one side of the page and this is the second side of the page so this way you can do two sided copy as well overall this printer is good for the wireless printing and scanning and you can also do two sided copy but for that you have to do it manually because it doesn't have two sided automatic copy system also the printer is efficient it connects quickly with the Wi-Fi network of your home or office also 
you can use the inbuilt Wi-Fi direct system to do wireless printing and scanning. Thanks for watching.